So yeah, we um, we got ice cream. We didn't bring enough to share. Sorry. No. Sorry. But it is delicious, and we wish you all could enjoy it with us. Too um, bad. Too bad. <laughs> well, uh, this is all thanks to hard work put in, said so from Micah. Yeah. Micah, no work, all reward, Sally. Yep. Mm. I reject the labor theory of value, so. There you go. Bunch of communists. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Good comeback. But That's good. That's good. In the midst of our uh, ice cream fit, we, ha- we have um, taken to uh, YouTube to look up some YouTubers, and we came across one. Uh, John Tron, you may have heard of him. You may love him. May have heard of him. Yeah, uh, Game Group, Possibly. Spain. Yeah. Uh, also his, uh, <laughs> also his uh, own channel, uh, John the John Tron Show, which <clears throat> I remember. Uh, I remember frequenting uh, when it was part of the original NormalBoots.com, dot com, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was fun. It was really I liked John's energy that he had. Also, I also liked his Xbox One video where he pretty much destroys his Xbox One because they. Cock tease the hell out of Conker's Bad Fur Day too. Oh, yep. Yeah, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. he and he starts laughing and he's just like <laughs> coughs up blood. Mm-hmm. He's like, uh, and he gets his Xbox and he throws his games in the toilet, flushes it, and he gets a knife and just starts stabbing the Xbox One. Yep. Just like I love you. <laughs> good times. Good times. That sounds all highly unnecessary. You're not wrong. I'm just eating ice cream. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. And joining us on this video is uh, the one and only Miss Wyndham Rice. Uh, check out all of her uh, awesome stuff down in the description below. Also, um, <clears throat> we are going to be uh, live streaming a little bit later uh, with uh, a project that features her as well. Uh, yep. So, but uh, before then, we decided we would come on here and uh, watch some John Tron, uh, <laughs> one that I have seen... Uh, advertised a little bit here and there. Heavily uh, requested. Heavily requested <laughs> is the word. Oh, Titanic, the legend goes on. Yes. I'm so, so. excited. Oh. <laughs> and, um, well, uh, we have it set up here. Uh, what do you say we get started with it? All right. Let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> it's a good look. Ah. Uh, The original of this intro I thought was really good. This is this is better. Yeah. John Tron. Jock. I will wait a lifetime, my love, for I know you will return to me one day. Every last of the 3,500 miles from Southampton to the Big Apple feels like a dagger of infinity thrust between our hearts. My sweet darling, we were to be reunited once again as man and man. <laughs> we to finally escape the persecution of our That's family's good. name. But as fate would have it, all our hopes and dreams were swallowed whole with you into the ocean's abyss. I could swear it were all a lie, and I could see your ship there just on the horizon. <laughs> the rest have forgotten, for that was so many years ago now. But I have not forsaken you. Oh dear. What's this? Titanic. The legend goes on? A full-length animated feature based on the legend of the Titanic? Wait, it's just a legend? It's just a silly old legend? I thought it was like a real thing, like a real boat with, with, with people on it that sank and they died. I suppose that means my girlfriend's not real then. I guess there were some signs along the way. When we were at that restaurant, the waiter, he said, why did you order two meals and not eat one of them? And he just left it there to get cold. And I said, curve your tongue. That's my lady. And soon she will be departing on the great steam liner known as the Titanic that is definitely a real ship in the real world. And he said, wait, what? <laughs> she was real to me. Today's topic of Dang discussion, it, the animated children's film, Titanic, the legend goes on. Okay. I don't even know where to begin with this one. This movie was released in Italy in the year 2000, and for some reason, it's based on the infamously tragic story of the RMS Titanic. Of course, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> it's perfect material for a kid's film. Think of all the funny <laughs> slapstick situations that could arise here. First Titanic, now this. I'm forced to talk about the Titanic yet again. 
What can I say? I guess a true story about a bunch of people freezing to death really makes for some good media. Uh, this, of course, takes a close second to my other favorite uh, questionably topic youth feature, Beauty in the Trail of Tears. Or as it's known in the I'm American trying to see if he did this. Pocahontas. I really want to watch. I don't really know what more to say about this. Trilogy. I mean, this film provides a great deal more questions than answers. It's somewhat of a rite of passage uh, to see this for yourself. So, without further ado, let the pain begin. As you can see, the man, nay, the legend, responsible for this is a guy named Camilo Teddy. Sure to go down in history as one of Il Italiano Primo. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? What's with Stop these that. names? Like Gimin Magon? Leone. Okay, I guess that's just a foreign name, but Scarl? <laughs> Poor bastard. His name was so beautiful before the accident. So much potential. <laughs> Scarl? <laughs> what? That's like 10 frames mm -hmm. per second. Mm -hmm. Would you look at that? They got to the point real fast on that one, huh? They sank that son of a bitch right away. Yep. So throughout this bizarre first scene, we're shown a diverse cast of characters that I can only assume are from the events preceding this one. You know, like, before the ship sinks. I guess they were just trying to do a little something special here. A little memento meets Titanic, really bold filmmaking. What sorrow I feel for these characters so close to my own heart. Red-haired lady. Brown-haired guy. <laughs> Old woman one and two, currently drowning human. Of course, 101 Dalmatian. 101 what? <laughs> <laughs> what now? Oh, no. Pongo, is that you? <laughs> hey, why save more Pretty. people when you can save two dogs who will live for a collective three years after the end of this film? I guess Disney royalty will get you far in this life. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Jesus, that's terrible. <laughs> why are you uh... <laughs> Jeez. What? What are you two laughing at? What changed here? I'm glad this man's violent death brought you momentary joy and distraction from the sinking of your ship. Wait, was he holding a kid? Maybe they were yes. just enjoying his uh, perfect 10 here. It's so weird. They just keep looping the same shots over and over and showing things that don't even look like they pertain to the moment at hand. Extreme oh, and it's over. The movie now decides to start for real. Ugh. In sepia time. Hope everyone's ready for some laughs, huh? For some fun. Let's go on this uh, animated adventure together. Maybe by the end of it, we'll be laughing like two old ladies on the verge <laughs> of death on a lifeboat. Mm -hmm. Huh? Could happen. How can anyone be expected to try to enjoy this movie after being given that intro? Going into this movie, everyone already knows how it's going to end, but then they just reminded us in painstaking detail. What, and now I have to anticipate all these characters dying? I'm supposed to get invested in them emotionally? Camillo, you just gave me a fucking Final Destination vision of all my friends' deaths. You, you lunatic. <laughs> so the story begins. Except there's no Real rewind time, and redo. The girl we saw in the previous yep. scene on a train opening a locket, which seems to have a, a picture of herself inside it. <laughs> Selfish bitch. <laughs> I'll never forget you. You mean you guys Me. don't have one of those? <laughs> Selfish bitch. Stop moping over that picture. I mean, you're not you're wrong. You're never going to find your precious mother. Your precious mother! What yeah. the? And for all intents and purposes, I hope that bitch is dead! Serves you right for sitting quietly on a train. You're wrong. I will find her, and my father too. I'll find them both. Well, I guess that's that. Okay. That that very is well. so bad, I almost Here had an aneurysm. we have the obligatory scene where all the characters are introduced oh. as they're boarding the ship. Poor dog. Although only about Poor one dog. third of them seem to have any semblance of originality. If you could call any of this original. What have you got in there? What? What? Why are there Bible? anthropomorphic animals boarding the ship? And not to mention, every last one of them is based on some Disney or Don Bluth character. No, in fact, just about every character in this film is ripped off from something else. You've got Granny from Looney Tunes. You've got a Cinderella thing going on here with the main character. Yeah. There's the Dalmatians, as previously discussed. Mm -hmm. The Mice from American Tale. The Crow mm -hmm. from Secret and Nim. Yep. Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Jesus. Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And Mother! The straight out of the Aristocats. What? And it goes on from there. I just really don't understand where they could have been coming from when they were making this. And Cruella Ripping off yep. a bunch of classic what? cartoon characters and putting them on the Titanic? <laughs> Camilla, are you trying to make some sort of sick, twisted reality show? Camilla, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing to us? What are you doing to yourself? <laughs> oh, no. Animal Angelica cruelty. Here, dropped her things. Oh, Angelica. You really are. Oh, what a nice man picking it up. Oh, Angelica. Here you are. Let's hope it's a smooth crossing. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? You <laughs> Awkward know foreshadowing. You, don't? you got something to say? Why so devious? Why are you? <laughs> Wait a second. I recognize that voice. You're not really an old man. I knew it. He was the iceberg <laughs> all along. <laughs> I suppose it's easy for And he would have gotten away with but it. What's too. with the that had been for them meddling. Half the time, it doesn't even seem like the People. animators knew what they wanted from each shot. 
It's as if two directors constantly battled about what emotion the character in question Wait, should be displaying. Sherlock and Moriarty? Moment. Seriously? Apparently. The downright abruptly timed dialogue. This is yours! Oh, thanks. I, well, I must have dropped this. I, I really owe you one. Is that all you have to say, Italian <laughs> mouse? I suppose you're going to forget about A, I, O, and you. It's near impossible to follow what's going on in this movie. I'm not even exaggerating. There are so many characters doing so many things in such a short span of time. I even found myself mixing the characters up for real. The first time I watched this, I legitimately didn't know these two old ladies were different characters. They're different characters. There's just two evil stepmothers in this. Hey, more evil's better, right? Okay. What the? Oh, okay. Well, let me get this straight. The crow, he stole the pin out of the uh, squirrel's hat there. Squirrel noticed, turned around, and then he left. And the significance of that was? Magpie? Okay. Speeding yeah, on the What's with the costumes, guys? We've been on tour, senor. And cannot wait to get home, eh, muchachos? Slowpoke Rodriguez? Chile. Chile. I join you? I play Wicked Bongos, you know. Uh, on. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to make you guys uncomfortable. I'll turn the movie off now if it helps. And uh, if you don't mind me, I'll be over here in the corner celebrating the death of my own innocence. Right, Papa? I can still hear the screams, Papa? Uh, what just happened? Hey, guy, I don't think the captain can hear you. What you're saying is interesting and all, but at this moment, I think his brain is internally spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting out of the harbor. We don't want to disturb the other liners with our watch. Hot screw. And away she goes, beginning what? the most magical of legends that definitely never happened at all, I swear. In the next scene, we're met with the two evil stepsisters seemingly deciding what to wear. Call her, Mommy! Call her at once! Stop Did I stroke out? Did they stroke out? Someone has stroken out. <laughs> I didn't do anything Stop. to alter that. That's how the movie comes packaged. That's how it's meant to be. It's art. Look at this hole in my favorite dress. I wanted to wear it. Oh, it's got bigger. So, uh, from what I can gather here, the main storyline is that Angelica here loses her prized locket and the search for it begins, sort of. Pick up those bits of broken china at once. What kind of sociopathic person wrote this movie? <laughs> Who could even get into such a headspace? <laughs> Throughout the movie, Angelica is seen being nice to the animals around the house, especially the one little mouse. So the animals like her and elect to help her find the lost locket. How about if she comes to our party, Mama? We are having one, aren't we? We'll talk to Fritz about her. The snack I'm looking for. You know there's something you should know, so I'm gonna tell you so. Don't sweat it. Forget it. Enjoy the show. What? No, no. <laughs> that's not that's not a real thing. Fuck! There was no hint of this being a musical, and then all of a sudden the dog <laughs> the dog here comes and starts rapping. Rapping hip hop! Rapping in a style of music that won't be invented for some 70 years after this scene ends. All set against a modern day Midtown Manhattan. Well, listen, listen to me, rhyming dog. Uh, two can play at this game. Like I thought, it, I thought that was just a joke. Like, nope. Oh, I'm saving that for later. What does the mouse say after this all happens? If it hadn't been for you, I would be now in someone else's digestion. I'll take uh, broken English for 800. <sighs> God dang it. <laughs> Lady in the Tramp? Yep. We've done it again. What? What have you done again? Nothing happened the first time to warrant this happening again. This is the first time I've seen you, I think. What is it, a common occurrence for you to go tying the legs of strangers together on a giant boat? Also, seriously, who are you? Bonjour, mademoiselle. Mademoiselle. May I still her for one moment? What? Well, who is this? Who is that? What's happening? <laughs> Watch out for a couple of weirdos, a kind of crazy red-haired cat and someone I hesitate to call one of us. More like a bat than a dog. Bat? Dog? Which dog? 
Who's this dog? Dogs? I'm the Titanic? Is it Scruff McGruff? It's sinking. <laughs> the plot is sinking. Quick, Kramer? find the emergency riders. Uh, the plot is sinking. <laughs> and at long last, our star-crossed lovers meet. And she instantly makes a pose as if she were trying to imitate what she saw someone do on the cover of Vogue. I don't think she realizes yeah. what she looks like there. I think in her head it's looking a lot better. Paint me like one of your French boys. <laughs> Paint me. I bet you look ravishing Dang. in this. Whoa, slow down, Whoa, Romeo. There, I might leave something creeps. to the imagination. I'm pretty sure that's a big-ass pair of granny panties. I don't know that you really do want to see her in that. <laughs> Darling, are these your skid marks? Huh? Oh, he did that. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. <laughs> He's going in for the touchdown. And then she just walks away. Eh, yep. Typical, you know. She doesn't even want to be viciously molested. <laughs> Talk about playing Jeez. hard to get. And she goes and derpy too. Just like that. The next scene starts up with a new mouse. I don't remember this guy. He is holding an adorable tiny candle though. I mean, come on. That's got to be one very small candle. Did he get that thing custom made? <laughs> Eat up all you can, boys. You'll need your strength for the Mexican winter. I really have no idea who this mouse could be happening? or why we're watching this, so let's just move also, on and pretend it didn't happen. Go. I think I must be going a bit soft in the head. You're telling me <laughs> Patrick Bateman, Prince Charming, has a pea brain? You gotta be pulling my leg, huh? Well, I've never had a proper family, so I've always dreamed of making one, but I don't want to rush uh. things. I have a whole life ahead of me. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Wait, how does this movie end again? All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't count on that whole life thing. Oh, and he's gone. Excuse me, madam. You were talking to a young lady. How can I find her? I know she often comes out here for walks. Oh, I must go in now. It is hey, Granny, where are you going? You're just going to bail on the convo? He's still talking to you. He's asking you a question. You can't do that. Oh, my God. Granny's aware of her own bail. She literally looks back and then lumbers away full Sasquatch mode. Uh. <laughs> oh, God, no. No, not no. this. I would have thought you'd be upstairs listening to that wonderful singer. I was too busy looking for someone. Uh. Are you going to say something? You're just not going to reciprocate there? I don't even know your name. Will I see you at the reception tonight? That all depends if I get unstuck from being in five frames per second. <laughs> so, after this encounter, Angelica goes back to Granny's room and explains how sad she is that she can't go to the reception with the guy she just met because she has nothing to wear. Upon hearing this, Granny offers Angelica her old dress from her youth, which she for some reason has with her on the ship. I haven't worn this since my poor Francis took me to the opera Wait, for the first and last That was all day on the deck. It's like, I think she comes out for walks. That's her grandmother? <laughs> yep. Granny, something That's you want to talk about? Is Uncle Francis, is he all right? Also, ugh. I don't, I don't think, think it's her grandmother. I think she's just a random around, lady. Near yep. that dress if Granny was so fond of that night. Yeah, I wouldn't do that, Angelica. Some Uncle Francis might still be on here. Oh. Oh. Just make sure this ball doesn't have a blacklight theme. What did my foster mother say? I'm Bernice and Hortense. I wouldn't worry about them. Uh, yeah, mainly because I think uh, no one knows who they are or if they're even in this movie. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, is that Uncle Francis back from the grave to give Granny one more night of fun? Oh, no. It's just two mice with a knife. Oh, it's Monterey <laughs> yes, uh, Jack. Classic. It basically is. It's mine two now, mice and with I'm a not knife. It to it. Anyone. He's getting stabbed. Oh. <laughs> How quaint. A raven fell through the exhaust grate in my cabin. No more nonsense. It's hers. Put it around her neck. All right, I can see you serious. <laughs> just please leave me and my family out of this. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what are you doing? You're gonna get a disease. This is how the Black Plague started. Uh. Are you sure this is a photograph of my real mother? What? You weren't sure? <laughs> I think this is one of those things you gotta be sure about. Uh, oh, yeah. Picture of her. <laughs> Shh, get the Bradbury, New York Police Department. Who the fuck are you? I'm here incognito on a special assignment. I want to catch the suspects red-handed. Get it? No. Somebody broke into my cabin and stole the locket, but that's all they took. Excuse me, I couldn't help hearing what you said. Uh, Girl, what's with the red hair and black beard <laughs> combo? Not a good look for you. Once again, who is this and why? I did it at summer camp one time. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. Did you say you did that thank at summer you. camp, or were you going sorry, to? Yeah, red, no, red hair and like oh, okay, a dark beard. Okay, okay, I, th I, th I thought you just said, I did a summer camp one time and then just stopped. Oh, yeah. no, no, I... And I was like... Yeah. When I was managing wow. football, there was a guy beautiful. with 
the song black that plays about beard. them is it already happens. in total longer than the amount of time they've thing. actually spent in each other's presence. Near me, I <laughs> What's going on here? But the guy in the black hair is taking some sort of issue with Angelica, and then he comes up and straight up points to her tits for like ten seconds. Realistically, I think he was just trying to save her from the clutches of Jack the Charming. Oh, uh, nope. Now I know who stole my locket. It was that girl. No, no, I don't think it was her. It is possible que. What was that? Perhaps the locket is back with its rightful owner. What does he mean by that? Yeah, what does he mean by that? <laughs> no. Uh, you know nothing about me. Jon Snow. Know, Damn it! What do you mean? Uh -huh. oh, wait, no, you're right. I do know absolutely Look at my tea, zero John about you Snow. besides your name. You beat me to it. I think I know your name. You Have didn't you tell that? me. You just walked yeah. away. Look at my tea, you just call this whole thing off or at least think it through. You know nothing. Nothing you could tell me. John Snow. Oh, hello. If I were to say something like, uh, I reject all your sexual advances. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, uh -oh, I can now uh -oh, see that that uh -oh, is not going to stop. Uh, yeah. Okay. What's going on here? How'd everyone get to a vantage point to watch this all at once? Nobody noticed they're being watched here? What? And they lived happily ever after. Ever. As ever. Never! At the bottom after. of the ocean. Wait. <laughs> Okay. What's actual effing thing? <laughs> Why is life pain? Hey, everything went perfectly to plan. What a perfect scene. Am I right? 10 out of 10. Okay, I think we're done with the worst <laughs> of it. Love and Trish kissed. Everything's falling into place. The movie's got to wrap up at some point now. Her hair looks like cinnamon buns. If you're feeling star, there's something that's Come on. Come on, baby. I just want out. Hey, at least it makes more sense than Hip Hop Dog in terms of time period. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, no. it's, it's true. This is getting sinister. Uh oh. Got a bad feeling so. about this. Look at that. Well, you never seen mist before. That's not just ice. Well, let me just get in focus here. Uh. You got it, it's an iceberg. Hello? There's an iceberg right in our path. Who is this? I told you to stop calling his number. <laughs> <laughs> So finally, wow. the iceberg hits. General the exact Mayhem ensues, same. and all the characters scramble to reach four the times. Yeah. yeah, buddy, save that energy. Don't want to expend it before you get rowing. What? Sure. Yay! Yeah, yeah. What a shit show. What? Uh, I witnessed that day. Surely, yeah. I will never forget it as long as I live. No. Wow, I can't believe it. It's party time. Finally drawing to a close. So William, the love interest, breaks a window with a wicker chair somehow and escapes the ship. All the while, physics. Angelica seems unaffected by his suspected mm -hmm. untimely <clears throat> death. Do you still have a picture in the locket? Yes. 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 Ever since my mother put it around my neck as a baby. And then left you because she was forced to. Mother. Oh, no. Please, well, everybody's no. dying around this, them. Oh, yes. All and they're all dying. Ah, but mother. mother. Hooray, she's been found. Oh, but her dad, she said she'd find. And my father, too. I'll find them both. Nah, he's dead still. Or missing. Or worse, dead What if he was missing. on the ship? Hey, at least she dead and off. missing. Look, over there. It looks like someone in the water. Oh, my God. There he is. Rose? Just in the nick of time. Jack? The weird detective guy. Wait Is for it. it. Yep. It's not him. No. Ah, false alarm. It's not William. Throw him back. Are you serious? <laughs> it's the detective with the red hair and mismatched beard from earlier? <laughs> so the literal only reason for that character existing was for this one gag at the end of the film, the bait and switch. I bet the writers really patted themselves on the back for this one. Hang on. It's William. But then, in a joyous twist of fate, William is recovered. Darling, it's or me. Or not. Jessica. Wait. What? Where's William? Who did that? Where's William? What do you what? have? The brain of a baby? You don't got object permanence yet? The moment he's out of sight, he's just whoosh, he's gone from your reality. Please. What happened to the kid that he had in his Please. arms? What? I don't think that was him Open with the kid. Oh. oh, okay. No! Never mind! Close them! Throw me back! Goodness. And oh. on that day. They lived happily ever after. But just then, it was honestly pretty terrible for just about everyone else. Most of them perished, but at least the Mexican funny mice lived. Wait a minute, wait a minute, where are you going? The movie isn't over yet. 
What? No, no, come on. Don't you want to know what happened to everybody? We're sitting really pretty. No, no, you can't be serious. There's a where are they now segment. Really? Where they are now at the bottom of the fucking ocean. Are you crazy? <laughs> but this isn't even the only Italian animated Titanic film that features talking mice. The other being called The Legend of the Titanic. The Wait Legend a minute. Of the Titanic. Did Italy just There's miss more than the one news that day? Is this that how? Day the world's biggest meatball was made and the Titanic sinking was just a footnote right at the bottom. By the way, Titanic looks like I need to lay her to rest once and for all so we can all move on. John, John what the hell? I'll never let go. <clears throat> of what you've yep, done tape to it to a is, rock and let it fall to the bottom of the ocean. Terrible, terrible thing to the depths with you. To the depths with you. Goodbye forever. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. The movie isn't over yet. Hey, you dropped this. Oh my god, back to the ocean. Back to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I do here, consider supporting my awesome sponsor, Harry's Razors. Okay. Now, these guys make wonderful high end razors that leave you feeling like the fresh man or I'll woman that you. Beard. I'm not judging, you know. If you use my special <laughs> coupon code, John Tron at checkout, you'll get $5 off your first purchase. That's a nice code. That means you can snag their starter yeah. set for just 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's the razor, Lord. three blades, and your choice of gel or cream. <clears throat> God bless America. And hey, we got I some new shirts that. over at the Yeti.com just in case you wanted some of those. <laughs> Please tell me you want some. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was absolutely bizarre. Y uh, yeah. I've seen another one. And according to it, nobody died on the Titanic. A giant octopus brought it back from the depths and everyone lived. I saw that one and I was just like. Yeah, I Please had, don't I could, do that. No, I couldn't. I couldn't stand it. I was literally about two <laughs> seconds away from, from, from jumping out of a window. Oh, my goodness. It was a single story building, but it would have hurt still. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> wow. I mean, that, wow. the, it's about the principle of the thing. You would have been out of the window by jumping through it. So, yes. You know. I just, I just, I don't know. I think my favorite thing is how he said, look at all these characters that came from other stuff. It's yeah. true. That was my favorite. Oh, that was my God. favorite part. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh. All of those characters are and from something completely You know what, you know what, though? Like, different. I remember watching <clears throat> movies like this when I was younger. Like, the ones that you could get for, like, $2 yeah. at, at yep. a gas station. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes me want to go to like a random gas station and buy like all the cheap animated movies. Well, it's kind of like, like watch you, know, you would torture them. yourself. Like this is that? the worst yes! idea. <laughs> yes, I would. Totally okay, do look, that. Well, it's look. Like, if you're gonna do this, at least let me write this stuff down so we can actually get like a thesis out of it. Yeah, it's kind of like you have like your right. box of Fruit Loops, well, that's and then what I'm you, saying. Like, you, you see like the generic cereal with not two can Sam on it, and it's like, <laughs> but it's yeah, basically it's like, Fruit Loops. It is. Yep. I it gotta is. try it. I gotta try it. There's loops our, of fruit. I remember yep. watching one that was like Anastasia. Oh, I, re I remember seeing that. There was one. the Anastasia one that was kind of like made. It was very, I don't think it was this bad though, well, but it was like not very it's, it's well not done. Just... <clears throat> and it was like where all of her family were instruments. Oh my God. Wait, They were what? All, her family magically to become her guardians because they all got shot. They all, yeah, they all turned died. into instruments. <clears throat> and so she would just lug instruments around with her, like in and their cases, everywhere she went. And she was like, they're my family. Uh, uh, actually, it's not just huh. animated what? films that's happening to anymore. It's live action movies. Uh, case in point, uh, Transformers came out in 2007. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, here we about go. About three months before it came out, Transmorphers. Yes. Came out and I worked yes. at, I was working at a I was working at a at a, oh, at, at a so happy. place. And also so happy. also United ninety three, you know the movie about mm -hmm. you know Flight ninety three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh all of a sudden, two months before it's released in theaters, Flight ninety three comes out and it's yes. and it deals with this guy who keeps up with this commercial airliner in a single prop plane. Don't uh, ask me how, but somehow he does. So, that makes me so happy. Oh like, my gosh! Even, I'm, I'm it's like the mic. little the little prop engine plane that could. could. Money. Oh I think I can. Money went into making those. Uh, yes. Well, and that's people like people bought and people. Uh, it's just like you know those stupid. Uh, you know before they started doing the really good uh, um, uh, clone consoles. 
Yeah. You remember when they did like, you know, like this like the Somi, like the Somi uh, game station yeah. that your grandparents would see out and spend fifty dollars on it thinking it was something that you would play. Oh and no then, no that never happened to me thankfully. Oh but, it uh, happened to me. And this oh. thing would and this pl- thing played like self like Nokia cell phone games. Oh yes. you got an N gauge. Pretty much. Oh and except 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 it wasn't no except it wasn't uh except it, it was a full console. TV. It was like <laughs> a full size console. No shit bootlegs that sounds yes. terrible oh my god oh, it makes me so Horrible. happy i'm kind of curious if you can find try and see if you can find the anastasia movie oh. all right the anastasia instruments the black market has come a long way <laughs> yep <laughs> all right because now i'm curious because oh, yeah. now i'm remembering my childhood corsair yeah like board. you're you're having you're having memories and you're not sure if they're real or not yeah yeah anastasia movie with instruments because if you type Anastasia movie, there's an actual with Anastasia talking movie instruments. Well there it is. There it is. Yes, the secret, secret of, of Anastasia. Anastasia. I wonder if there's a trailer for that on YouTube. Oh it's my god! It's the same it's girl. Animation. <laughs> it actually is. Th- uh, okay. Okay. All right. Should we, uh, watch, should we watch it? Is the question. Should we watch this? Well, trailer? we have to now. I mean, I can, I can. We're we're now required we're, by we're law. We're watching this on IMDb. Uh, just gotta wait for yep. this to. We gotta wait the for the ad. commercial. Ads. Wow. Oh boy. What Cheerios? Yeah. And here we go. Journey back in time to the land of Russia and follow the story of beautiful Anastasia. Anastasia. Oh, the Bolsheviks. With the instruments! Her and her musical instrument friends on a wonderful adventure. UAV Entertainment proudly presents the secret UAV? Anastasia. As she sets out to prove to the world who she really is, Anastasia encounters both friends and foes. Stand for Duke of Anastasia, remember Apparently. who you are. Where's Dimitri? She Whoa. is torn between two suitors, the dashing Ikonovich and the worldly Prince Paul, one of whom is out to destroy her. But Anastasia and is I remember, and sometimes her nose oh. randomly disappears. Shadow. Sometimes her nose randomly disappears. And once it is revealed... You're right! Change her, her nose is just, just like... Yeah. yeah. It's, its existence is objective. It's subjective. Objective. Thank you. Well, uh, okay. And her that's, arms too. Her arms, her arms like they're like short and like mm, long. That's, that's amazing. That is not a good angle to shoot. Wow. I bet. I bet. I wonder if they had the whole movie on YouTube. They do. I think. And yes. I don't think we have time for that. Uh, we don't have time for that. But okay, that would be amazing. So see, here's the thing. I'm, I might go home and watch <laughs> that <laughs> okay. on YouTube tonight. Uh, here's like on here's my what phone. I'm worried about. Unmanned aerial vehicles are now advanced enough to make terrible knockoffs. <laughs> good one. UAVs, man. Uh, Can't trust them. Oh my gosh! But yeah, no, those are like the gas station <laughs> Wait, movies that so you can get. Yeah, I thought like stinger missiles were worth something to worry about from Reaper drone. I have to worry about this crap too. <laughs> I think this. There's a whole wiki on this. I don't yeah. know how to handle this. There's a wiki. What? <laughs> go, 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 look, go. <laughs> yes. The whole plot Directed of the movie is right there. Animated musical film, majorly based on. In majorly Asia. based. The film hmm. follows the journey of the lost Russian princess. Why isn't Anastasia Russian capitalized? To find her family, the Dowager Empress. She travels with four musical instruments that talk throughout the film until a secret is revealed at the end. Prince Paul. That they tell you who the villain is. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Spoilers, okay, we Whitney. can't. We we. Wow. All right. Scroll. <laughs> no, and it actually points out where the songs happen in the plot. Please note spoilers contained. Oh, thanks for that. You know, you could have yeah, said that like said before. That earlier. Could have said that. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. It doesn't even give who the director is. I think the director like did everything he could to get his to name. Distance himself from this. Well, they, well wait, yeah. okay, scroll down. I want to see who the voice actors are. Yes. John Beach, Lisa De Simone, Earl Hammond, Cynthia Harris, Barbara Jean Kearney, Bill Measel. Robert. Director is Lee Lawn. Real, down down there at the bottom. Oh, at down the at the bottom. bottom. Yep. That's how Hong, bad it is. Uh, oh, Hong Long Studio and Zhe and Zhu He Zhang. Zhang. Cool. Thankfully, there's a, a napkin yeah, there. Yeah. Fine. Oh, David. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. David. David Goldsmith. Where do I know that name? 
Well, Come it's on. not exactly like a super. No, no, no. I know that name. Why do I know that name? I know a Jerry Goldsmith. I don't know. Please. I'm trying to think. There was another one too that I remember that was like it. It wasn't. I think it was called like Happily Ever After or something, and it was what happens after the story of Snow White. And it's like about the evil stepmother's hmm. brother. Hmm. Okay, I can't. Wait a second. On IMDb. David Goldsmith. Uh, it's, I don't and believe that's of, him. The Sea of Anastasia is here. The Secret of Anastasia. The Secret of Anastasia. Sound no. Department. No, down at the bottom, Sound Department. That's where he would be. Nope, not there. Oh, okay. Man. Not him. Not him. All right. You could, you could look up Secret of Anastasia. On, he on probably IMDb had it removed. Though, but... Probably, yeah. Secret of Anastasia. Wait. Uh, no, no. Hey, no. we can get it on Amazon, guys. Oh, my oh. gosh. I think I know what I'm getting everybody for Christmas. Please, no. no. Actually, Every, I think maybe $20 I found it. $20 for a DVD. Wow. Guys. I think I found it. Digitally remastered. Guys. Digitally remastered. You get the digitally remastered like, version for $10. Guys. Does she keep her nose the whole time in that? I guys, feel like, though. I feel like we should like do a cosplay group at a con and like Wyndham can be <laughs> Anastasia. Please. And we can all yes. be an instrument. <laughs> yes. And just follow you around. No, no, no. no I am will definitely going to be is. the guy with the... The handkerchief and the youth shanka. Okay. Oh, and yes, just like, that's right. And just be like the the most cliche bad guy. Oh, my god. I goodness. love this. Okay. Yes. Okay. Everybody, my birthday's in August. <laughs> I'm You're like five saying, copies of this. I'm just saying, digitally remastered. Mother of God. You know. Okay. All right. You know what? Damn it. Are you <laughs> <laughs> yes. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. No, 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 no. It's actually happening. It's is the thing. To make Amazon not won't even it. let you. Amazon doesn't want you to get it for me for my birthday. Come on. Yeah. Oh no, it's <laughs> happening. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. Oh my god, it's actually happening. <laughs> With shipping, this is gonna be ten and a half dollars. Yes. No, it's it's Prime, right? Yeah, it's ten dollars. Uh, but you got. Oh, yeah. Estimated tax. tax. Yeah. Ugh, taxes. Oh, my goodness. My God. There you go. He just Yay! placed the order. He placed the order Anastasia. for Anastasia. As soon as I get it, you know I will what that ship means. it to you. You know what that Well, or you could just leave it here, and then we can We're going to have to watch it. it. No. We could, we for could video Wednesday. It. We could live stream <laughs> the secret of Anastasia. Oh, my God. And on that bombshell, it's time to end. Thank you very much for watching. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> my God. That made me so happy. <laughs>